something. So I'm going to hand you over to speaking of Imelda, delivering the word. by the Catholic Church, but only if they express contrition and seek forgiveness from a priest. <laughs> Normally, such forgiveness must be granted by a bishop. This attempt to disguise the continued shaming and chastisement of women as compassion is a bit like the hypocrisy of the Irish government trying to maintain that Ireland is abortion free when up to 4,000 people travel to England each year for abortion. The government's framing of the right to travel as generous concession to those needing an abortion is as contemptuous as Pope Francis's limited offer of absolution. And as we all know, not all pregnant people in Ireland have permission or are able to afford to travel. Sure, it's no wonder that the pulpit and the parliament in this country have made such good partners in crime when it comes to the systematic punishment of women. We do not need phony concessions or absolution from those who have enacted such brutal misogyny against women in Ireland historically. In the Magdalene Laundry, in the mother and baby homes, through the practice of sin physiology, the failure to enable access to abortion services is of course a continuation of this systematic punishment of women. We do not need any more double-speak and hypocrisy from outdated, draconian, patriarchal institutions. We need access to free, safe, legal and local abortion now! before you as self-ordained secular bishops to highlight that the wolf possessors of Ireland are the moral agents of their own bodies. The state must support our decisions. We can make the decisions that are right for us with medical advice that is not compromised by fear of the Eighth Amendment. We believe that the people of Ireland must and will vote to repeal the Eighth Amendment, but we must make sure that our politicians enable this to happen. We will never forgive the political parties if they do not commit to legislating early in the next stall. So, we say to you all today, go with the power vested in yourselves. Go forth and absolve yourselves of patriarchy. Absolve yourselves of misogyny. Absolve yourselves of hypocrisy. Absolve yourselves of the shame and the stigma. You are the moral agents of your own bodies. Demand your long overdue right to full bodily autonomy. Demand it. Do not ask politely. Do not beg with your head bowed. Stand tall and speak with your feet. 